The Zeebo likes to talk about life while he's shooting people in the face. The Zeebo. What is going on, everybody? It's Lazivo here, and this is some gameplay from my very first game of Battlefield 3. Uh, just got back from the midnight release, uh, maybe a couple hours ago, and uh, it was pretty cool. There was probably like I didn't wasn't really sure what to expect from a Battlefield 3 release, but uh, there was probably I don't know maybe 75 people in line, 50 to 75 people. Um, this is the second time I've ever been to a midnight release. The first being Black Ops. And uh, it was pretty fun. Like, I met a lot of cool people. Uh, same experience I had from before. Like, just standing in line, uh, just got to talk to some cool people. And, uh, you know, I met a guy, actually one of the guys I was talking to a lot. It was really a cool story. Like, I was kind of, I was a little bit touched by it because he was, uh, he actually had cerebral palsy. And uh, you couldn't tell, like, when he was just standing there. Like, it was totally, totally normal. He was just, uh, you know, you'd think he's just a normal dude. Like, but when he walked, you could obviously tell, like, you know something was going on but um yeah it was really neat because uh he had like this camouflage jacket on and uh he started telling me that um uh, like you know I, th I think he said he was 24 but he said when he was younger um his dream was to be in the military like that's what he wanted to do with his life but uh you know he said it was kind of a sad day when uh his mom informed him that uh they wouldn't be able to accept him you know because of his disability but uh, he kind of followed it up with, hey, that's why I love, he's a big fan of the Battlefield series. And he said, that's why I love Battlefield. You know, like he said, it gives me, gives me the opportunity to sort of, uh, sort of live out my dream, you know. And I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, like we, I just go on there and shoot people in the face for fun. And uh, somebody else is actually getting a chance to sort of uh, live, out, live out a dream or a fantasy for them. And, you know, at the same time, it makes you really feel grateful for, uh, you know, the blessings that you have. Just being able to be like a normal um, normal dude, you know, you, you kind of, you kind of get take that stuff for granted in life. So it was a really cool story. Um, but, uh, anyway, this is, uh, this is, like I said, my very first gameplay. I cut out the first section of it cause, uh, I had, uh, I was playing with my buddy Lang and, um, I had hopped in a tank with him and we drove around and didn't really do much with it. We got, got, uh, got a couple kills, I think, and secured a flag, but then we got blown up and it was, it's kind of boring, but, um, yeah, the vehicles are uh, are pretty badass. Uh, I got I got a actually had a flawless gameplay in a tank um, on uh, on one of the maps earlier too, where I just drove around. That thing was just like a beast. I just had some dude repairing me, and I just went from flag to flag. And uh, I think I only finished like five and zero, oh, but I was in that thing forever. So it's uh, definitely the vehicles are very very useful, you know, and especially the tanks uh, from what I can tell so far. Like I said, I think, you know, there's a bunch of stuff you unlock for them that I don't even have yet, so it's kind of hard to actually really judge, but um, it's, uh, from what I can tell right now at least, there's, there's not a whole lot, of, uh, whole lot of resistance when you're rolling up in a tank. Um, but yeah, like, okay, first thing, first thing I noticed is the maps themselves are gorgeous, man. They're just beautiful. Like, um, they this game uh, I don't know if you listened to the, our podcast or not this week, but I mentioned the fact that this game comes with two discs. Uh, the second disc uh, of which contains a HD texture pack is I believe what it, what they're calling it, and um, it's uh, oh look at this oh I thought, thought thought this was my knife kill coming up. I had a had my first knife in this game somewhere, but um, anyway the second disc is uh, an HD texture pack is what they call it. And it really makes the game look pretty good. Like, I don't want to say it's like PC level, but it's pretty close. I mean, uh, pretty much the only difference maybe is a little bit of the lighting effects and stuff. It's uh, it's definitely a gorgeous looking game. Probably one of the best games I've seen. So um, that's I guess first things first. And it's pretty cool. You know, I I, uh, I read a blog about about this HD t texture pack issue thing. And, they, and uh, the developers basically said, yeah, we've been doing this for PC and PS3 for a long time. So it just made sense that they brought it over into, uh, into uh, Xbox. So it was pretty cool. Um, I've been using mostly the Assault class right now, uh, which, which is pretty cool because you get the uh, med packs. And that was a little change up from, uh, oh, there's my knife. Oh, I love those. I love those animations. And then I'm trying to knife this guy here, but it wasn't giving it to me. And... Uh, oh, yeah, maybe I did get him. I got him with a swipe right there. So I got two knives there, back to back. Sit down. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, 
so yeah, they said uh, basically that it's something uh, something good to see on the Xbox with this HD texture pack thing. The game looks gorgeous. Um, I did notice a little bit of a lag issue. Uh, that's kind of, I guess, to be expected as uh, as people start coming online and the servers start getting overloaded. Um, it's not near as bad as, say, Bad Company 2 where, man, the servers were just really jacked up like um, when it first came out. I don't know if you guys remember that or if you guys played it, but um, it was uh, it was something that was, um, you know, whatever. It's <laughs> It was something that uh, I kind of expected they to run into. So you do get a little bit of lag issues right now. I think that's, that's just uh, going to come with the territory for an opening night release. And, um, but uh, I did see a, a, a tweet from the Battlefield developer saying that they are working on that right now. So, um, you know, they're on it right now, which is really, re really a cool thing to see, you know, when you got game developers supporting it, you know, from day one on the release. And uh, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I've been using the Assault class, which is, uh, which has the med packs. And that's like a change from Modern, or, uh, Modern Warfare. It's a change from Battlefield uh, Bad Company 2 because I think uh, they had a medic class back then. And uh, it was kind of misplaced, you know, because the medic pack uh, came with, uh, with, the, with the guy who was the medic who had, like, the light machine guns. And they kind of said, hey, it doesn't make sense. Like, the med, the med packs, you need them on the front line, and the assault class is designed to be the front line uh, unit, basically. They want you to be... Um, uh, you know, on the on the front line, dishing out med packs, and that's your guy. And so they changed it up, and uh, they uh, they have a support class now, which has the light machine guns and has the ammo refill, which makes sense because uh, like it's more true to real battle. Those light machine guns aren't going to be on the front line; they're going to be off in the back somewhere. And uh, if you need ammo, you'll sort of retreat a little bit to find one of your guys that can uh, that can grab it. I can't speak too much about the communication in this game yet because, like I said, I was in a party with uh, just one of my other friends who had picked up the game early, and uh, so you know I didn't uh, didn't kind of test the waters to see what the communication is like. I heard it's uh, pretty quiet if uh, if <laughs> if you're listening. Um, you can see the assault class doesn't have much to go up against these uh, these tanks when they come out, so uh, you're going to want to spot those for your teammates and hopefully uh, hopefully you can uh, get somebody to help you out. Um, that's the one cool thing about this game is uh, you kind of communicate through that back button. So you can spot guys, you can spot vehicles, you can uh, point at guys that maybe aren't in your squad that uh, that can provide you with ammo or health. And so uh, you're going to want to do that. Just uh, kind of a simple communication, communication tool. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, the only game type I've played so far is called uh, Conquest. And... That's similar to Domination, if you guys are Call of Duty players, uh, except for there may be more points than three on the map. This particular map only has three. There's A, B, and C. Um, and it works sort of the same. Uh, when you walk up to the flag, you'll start to capture it if the area is clear. Um, and uh, you'll see, like, the enemy flag will start to, like, retract down the pole. And then uh, you'll see uh, you'll see your flag start, start raising, and there's kind of a, a, a circle with, like, a, a moving... Um, I don't know, a moving icon to, to kind of tell you how close you're getting. And the more people you have there, the quicker you're going to cap it, that kind of thing. So uh, that's the only game type I've played. Um, it's pretty long games, uh, you know, roughly 20-minute games, I, I'd say, if you're, you know, depending on the map and whatnot. But um, I don't know if this is going to make for good YouTube. Uh, it seems like something that you're going to have to cut up, you know, to, to get into a manageable gameplay, kind of like how I did with this one where I edited, you know, the beginning of this down. Uh, I've heard TDM is a good game mode for YouTube gameplay, so I'm sure I'll experiment with that, you know, in the coming days. But uh, right now, I figured I would get this video out because, man, it's uh, it's gonna be a rough day tomorrow. Let me, let me, let me just say that it's, I'm sitting here; it's almost three in the morning, and uh, yeah, I I got a real job, and so I gotta get up and go to work tomorrow, which is gonna suck. But um, anyway, I figured it was be something I wanted to bring out to you guys, just give you a quick review. I don't know if you guys picked up the game tonight or are picking it up tomorrow. Um, another funny thing, man, I go to GameStop uh, for this um, for this um, midnight release, and uh, it's a Battlefield 3 midnight release, and they're hosting a, uh, a Modern Warfare uh, Modern Warfare 2 tournament. I was like, dude, what is this all about? Like, how do you, how is this, how is this okay with the developers? And he basically said, hey, you know, we we were we were looking for. Uh, uh, split screen co-op type mode to to do it on and it just there's nothing really that battlefield offers so 
Uh, they just did it with the Modern Warfare 2, but I, I got a kick out of that. I was like, man, they're they're uh, kicking them while they're down. <laughs> so uh, it, it was cool. I like the midnight releases. It's one of those things that's fun to do. Like I said, you meet some cool people and uh, just get to put a face to some of the games. The one thing I, the one thing I did notice is, uh, man, it's like, when you get an Xbox Live, there's a bunch of douchebags. Like, you'll run into, like, guys that are just whatever, you know, being jackasses and stuff. And then when you go meet, like, uh, at a midnight release and you're sitting there face-to-face -face with people, everybody's super nice, man. Everybody was really cool and uh, excited about the game. And uh, it's just a cool way to to kind of feel like, wow, you know, there's there's real faces and people behind those guys that you play with on a daily basis. And like I said, it was weird that you don't see the douchebags when you go out. Or maybe they just don't have the you know, the comfort of hiding behind the microphone or whatever. So, um, anyway, uh, enough about that. This gameplay is wrapping up here, and uh, you can see it was, a, it was a pretty mediocre game. I think it was roughly like a 2KD. Uh, I was pretty happy with it uh, as far as the first gameplay. Uh, what I have? I was 12 and 8. Okay, so man, maybe 2KD was a stretch, but not bad for a first game, not knowing the maps. But, um, anyway, just wanted to bring you guys this. Uh, so far, I like the game. Like I said, there are some issues, but... Uh, uh, once I learn the maps and kind of get used to the weapons, it should should be a little smoother for me. But uh, anyway, uh, hope you guys like that. If you guys want to see more Battlefield 3 from me, let me know because I know uh, my Gears of War videos didn't get a whole lot of views. So I just want to make sure that I'm putting out stuff you guys want to see. Um, I will definitely be getting Modern Warfare 3, lots of gameplay to come from that. I'm sure I'll be putting you know, the majority of my time into that uh, over the next couple months. So no worries there. You guys will see that. Uh, anyway, hope you guys like it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go get some sleep and try to get, try to uh, try to get some rest for tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's it, man. Um, let me know what you guys think of this, and uh, if anybody has this game, let me know because I don't know too many people with it. So uh, if you guys did pick it up, I'm looking for people to uh, squat up with. Oh, and by the way, vehicles are just tough as nails to drive again, and that's just something you need to get used to. But holy crap, like flying! I flew to a jet for. 18 minutes didn't get a kill and crashed into a mountain it was just like the whole time i was just trying to figure out the controls did fly a helicopter crash that into a shipping container and uh it's just really funny right now watching all these level one guys jump in helicopters and just smash them into buildings and no one's really uh got the flying thing down yet so i get a kick out of that but anyway i'm going way over guys sorry about that um just i'm kind of excited about the game and whatever i'm gonna let you guys go I need to get some rest. I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching this, guys. Talk to you.